the bridegroom. Yesterday, I was thanking the Lord and singing to him for his goodness to me. With joy in my heart, I worshipped my Creator, my Savior, for all his great love in saving me. Then I saw him in a vision. He appeared. He was wearing a white wedding tuxedo, and with an outstretched hand, he said, May I have the pleasure of your company? I was amazed by his humility. It was almost like a young man proposing to a girl for the first time. I saw the, I saw the sincerity in his mannerisms, and the tone of his voice reaffirmed it. I heard his words, but they were more than words. Somehow they were actions. The words conveyed a plan, a new start, a new life with him, eternity. Behind him I saw a chariot awaiting. This chariot was beautifully white and with gold trim. White horses were at front and were excitedly awaiting for the command to go. I once again looked at Jesus. His appearance is so beautiful. His handsome face, his perfect beard, his garment so bright and it makes the angels look dull in comparison. I took his hand and he led me to his awaiting chariot. He opened the door of the chariot for me and as he did, I became aware of what a perfect gentleman he is, more polite than any man or any created being. I saw that he cares so deeply about every smallest detail. I saw a beautiful forest. The setting was so majestic, breathtaking, perfect trees with no decay or death on the bark or in the leaves. The grass had no brown spots, just perfect green. Water was not in shortage here. In the distance was a clearing, and beyond that, colors of brilliance. brilliance. Royal purple adorned the clearing up ahead, and the other colors gloriously supported the majesty. I wondered what the purpose of this place was. I knew that this place was special, and that an event was ready to take place. Nothing else needed to happen. All was prepared. Every detail thought of. All preparations completed. I thought the only thing left now is for the chariot to depart. Then the vision ended. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is extending his hand just like this to you. He is, re he is requesting the pleasure of your company in just the same way. His every thought towards you is every bit as sweet. No one can ever replace you. The bridegroom wants you. Take his offer and go about the Father's business until Jesus sweeps you off your feet to be with him forever in paradise. It will be a surprise. Until that moment happens, take each other, take each opportunity to make the one that you love smile with joy. Jesus, God bless you. I pray it encourages you. Keep looking towards Jesus. Love you all.